Don't compromise, just use your eyes Take a look inside the millennial mind Millennial, millennial, millennial mind Welcome back to the millennial mind. You might like to call us lazy and entitled, but it's time you start to understand the millennial generation and break free of the negative stereotypes. Get the knowledge you need to attract, retain, and engage the millennial generation to take them from entitled to engaged. And who better to tell you this than two, believe it or not, actual millennials themselves. Can you believe it? You should, because we are. I'm Garrett Wagner, your entrepreneurial CPA channel host. And I'm here with a man that's a millennial. He's an entertainer. He's in charge of Mr. Media. He's gonna be on The Bachelor someday, reality TV star. He does it all. He even raps like a pro, but they call him the rapping CPA, Drew Carey. Now, are you ready listening to hear the truth about the millennial mind from us? Now today, we're gonna talk about something, you know, little controversial communication crisis communication crisis in the workplace we see it all the time so drew what do we see I think we see a lot of this sort of mentality of older generations who are now in leadership positions who were, were forced by their predecessors to sort of be the the scrubs and the and the runs and and those classic interns going and getting the coffee and making the faxes and and we're always kind of treated lowly and they were taught well this is how the business world works you gotta work your way up if you want to get to the top and you gotta put in the time put in the hours just to get there when i think you know in actuality millennials have totally disregarded that and we're saying don't treat me like I'm just some sort of subhuman because you've spent more time on this earth. Uh, you know, if I schedule a meeting and I spend all this time preparing materials and notes, don't just not show up to the meeting when we have it, when we have it scheduled because you know, you're beneath me and you know, I, I don't really care. And you know, it's, it, it comes to like you're talking about with the communication is uh, just knowing how to say, Hey, by the way, you know, I'm running late or, you know, we'll reschedule this and holding to your word and sticking to it. It's not that difficult. I don't think to, to learn how to communicate in the modern era using technology. Uh, but it seems like it's forever going. It's, it's an everlasting and existing crisis. Yeah. I, I've seen a lot of that in my career of people that were, were horrible at attending meetings or, you know, one of the interesting pieces, you know, they like to say, like, for us millennials, we're so involved with our phone. Like, we're always on our phone, always on our phone. But I got to tell you this, I'm going to be honest with you and everybody watching. You know, I worked inside public accounting firms for about 13 years. And speaking of meetings and problems of meetings, nine times out of ten, really ten times out of ten, the person in the meeting that we're in a meeting, whether it's an audit planning meeting, a tax meeting, a firm meeting, person that's me that's supposed to be paying attention that's doing this is not the millennial you know it's it's the baby boomer at the firm that's like yeah he came in late and they spent the whole time texting everyone's like so what are we what's the audit strategy they're like I don't know I gotta go um, you know so it's funny they like to say that we're the troublemakers we're always on our phone but you get inside like a, a meeting um, and then the other generations are, I remember I had, I remember an interview where the one partner was like taking calls on his cell phone. Like every, like, every time it rang, he'd be like, excuse me, like, you know, I was like, hey, you know, I'm like, what the, am I here for an interview or am I here to like wait while you make phone calls? Like, we know that you're not supposed to bring your phone on an interview. We know to turn our phone on mute and like wait till the interview's over. Um, but yeah, so be more respectful. Why can't, why can't these other generations be more respectful for everybody, not just for us. Be respectful for everybody in the meeting. It's it's honestly so ironic that you bring that up. You know where where it's it's these other generations that are the ones that are it's that seem to be glued to the phone. They're like fascinated by this piece of technology. Where you know we appreciate technology and and we understand you know how it works and the importance of it. Uh, these other generations they look at it as if it's like you know an oracle that that they're trying to figure out how exactly it works and tells the future. Uh, I have this conversation sort of whenever I go to visit my visit my mom and she's down there on her phone, you know, texting. I'm trying to have a conversation. Oh, I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. Yeah, right. 
half the time, yeah, she's paying attention. But the other half the time, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, you just said this. I'm like, yeah, I said that, but did you comprehend what I was actually talking to you about? And there's nothing worse than going to a meeting and you're there and you, you, you know, whether it's you, you came up with this good proposal or you developed all this work and you're trying to present it and they sort of have the agenda on their mind and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. And they were just gonna say it the whole time anyway, but they didn't actually listen and, and give feedback on what you did. Because like it all ties back into the learning and development and we're trying to grow and, and become better at our jobs. And we, we want that mentorship and uh, the, the connection that we have with our bosses and with the leaders of a company. And if they're kind of glued to their phone, that's definitely not gonna help us feel like we're really valued. No. So that could be an interesting thing. Like if, if you people, all your people, your phone have like an iPhone is like, okay, like Monday morning, already, let's Monday morning meeting. Let's all look at our screen time report for last week and see like who had the most screen time. I'd be like, okay. Like I'm interested to see like, well, maybe boomers are up here. And then it kind of like slides down. Like, um, so we just see like, if you're really honest with it, who, who really does it? And it's the same thing. Like they say nowadays, like who's on Facebook more. Well, nowadays it's the baby boomers and Gen Xers that are way more on Facebook than we are. So it changes and you can't just have this negative view of a whole generation or a whole group, whole group of people and not like look at like what you're doing. I mean, that's how stereotypes, negative stereotypes are formed time and time again. It really becomes, do you want to be successful in life and in business? And the answer to a lot of millennials is yes and yes. I want to be successful in life and successful in business. And that means I need to work hard and have people that I can learn from and be professional in the workplace. And yeah, if there's not that rub there, there's a problem. I think Drew, to, to, if we're going to be honest though, there are some millennials, like there's people in every generation that are not the best performers. Yeah, no, that's for certain. I mean, I, I run into people I feel like all the time who, who are your stereotypical millennials and they are going to be those sort of lazier and, and kind of just on their phone and they're not as connected. And it all kind of depends on the different upbringings that everybody sort of uh, had as a background. Uh, I, th I think for, for other generations to, to improve their communication, and a lot of them want to talk about, well, how do I communicate with my Gen Z children? Or employers are definitely soon going to be curious. How do I uh, you know, work and engage the Generation Z? Well, it starts with uh, engaging Generation X. Uh, Generation Y, sorry. You know, it, it comes down to, you know, I think we're the, these uniquely poised liaisons to kind of bridge that gap as we understand technology and what exactly Gen Z is going through. And we understand how those stereotypes get formed. And we look at them in a similar way that perhaps Gen uh, X and the baby boomers might be looking at us. But millennials are too big of a part of the workforce now uh, to, for us, for, for any generation to ignore the best ways to communicate with us. And I think they need to address that. Uh, yeah, I think, like we said here, step one, communication crisis. Just be respectful of everybody's time. And once again, we said this before, we'll say it again. This isn't like a crazy out there millennial thing, like be respectful of people's time. This is just kind of like every day we should be respectful of people's time. Across all generations. Every all generations. All social interactions, no matter what it is. So hopefully with that kind of golden rule ending, you've learned something today. If not, reach out to Drew or myself. We're happy to answer your questions on millennials. And if you want to help better understand millennials at your firm, your company, your business, your association, whatever it is, send us a question. We'd be happy to spend some time with you and provide some insight into the millennial mind. Now, if you have your own opinions and thoughts on millennials, the best thing you can do is take part in our millennial survey. No matter what age, we want your input. There's a link below in all the social media posts. Click on it, take the test. We wanna hear your thoughts. So that's it. That's it for today's show. I thank you for watching. Click the link to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, we challenge you to take action to change the world and invest in yourself.